everybody and welcome back to my stream um so for the last few months i guess i've kind of on fridays i've just been kind of doing a little bit of whatever the fuck um and i but i had the idea after super liminal uh last week to uh i bounced this idea off of yvonne and she liked it <coughs> um basically this may not be a running friday thing but uh there will be a segment on my stream <coughs> that for now will be on friday um that i'm calling temporary at least temporarily calling late to the bandwagon um where i play games that i haven't played before <laughs> uh games that have been out a while that i just haven't gotten around to or didn't have interest in until more recently or have the capability to play until more recently um etc 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 things along those lines um and uh so we are officially we've been kind of doing this anyway with um we started with shadow of war and uh, shadow of mordor and shadow of war those games have been out a while and i missed them the first time around um <coughs> excuse me um and uh then we played we've been playing some other stuff basically um is where i'm going with that and um all of which has been stuff that's been out for a while and not is, is not brand new and so we'll be uh me basically saying hey this is new to me so let's stream it you made your stuff up I just realized that I have forgot I forgot to medicate before streaming. That's why I'm coughing so much. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, anyway. Um, so yeah, today we're gonna be starting Gone Home. Uh, according to what I've seen online, it's not a very long game, so I don't expect to spend more than one session on it. Or one more than one stream on it, but we'll see how things go, because I get easily distracted and take forever in games sometimes. Cause I fucking feel like it, you know? But, um, but, uh, yeah, uh, before we get properly started, though, um, if you have any games that you want to recommend to me, uh, that I should try, uh, you should go through that Patreon, uh, go to the patreon.com slash crimson night, uh, subscribe to me there, then message me and be like, hey, so, you know, for a dollar a month, you can decide what games you think I should play that if I haven't played them before, you know, um, or alternatively, um, if you, <sighs> it's complicated, you know, cause I want to make the Patreon special cause people are paying money there, <clears throat> but, um, also people don't always know what I have and haven't played. Um, so I don't know you could I guess you could I mean you could ask me what I have if I've played a certain game through my discord which is in my link tree right here um or whatever and or in chat here um but I will not necessarily add it to my list if I haven't already added it to my list you know um but yeah with patreon in patreon i'm going to start doing things like my patreon subscribers can actually vote on what game i play next for my late on uh, for this uh late to the bandwagon thing um and can uh you know su suggest things and etc 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 specifically in regards to what game i can or can you should or shouldn't play next basically um but anyway enough of that um you should absolutely get yourselves ready i don't know where i was going with that but uh let's get started 
is basically what I'm trying to say. Now, this has gone home. From everything I could find online, it is not a spoopy game. Or at least it's not a horror game. Maybe a little spoopy, but it may not, but it's not horror, supposedly. Now, uh, I have the graphics on stuff. Um, I have, uh, I thought I had motion blur off, hoping to prevent people from getting a little bit of seasick, or motion sickness, I mean. Um, and uh, so on and so forth. Never played this game before. The most I've done with this game is booted it up and set up my my uh, OBS settings. I've not actually played this game before, so let's let's see how this goes. Arrow keys wazzed to walk. Uh, look around using the mouse. Modifiers and commentary. These modifiers result in a non-standard experience. Modifiers cannot be changed while in game. All lights start on for those who don't like the dark. No, I'll leave the, I'll leave that off. Uh, disable map. There will be no in-game map to guide you. Eh, we'll leave that on. Uh, unlock all doors. Every door starts unlocked. Explore the house and the story in any order. No, we're gonna do it as intended. Disable voice diaries. Checking the dis checking this disables Sam's voiceover. No ending prompt will appear. <coughs> it will be up to you to uh, to. It will be up to you when to stop playing. No, let's leave that on. Uh, enable commentary. Uh, no, I would say I would say we'd save that for uh, another time. Oops. For after, you know, if I wanted to replay, if I want to replay this after, you know, which I probably will, but you know, the Fulbright Company. Thanks. Hi, mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Consider it. June 7, 1995, 1.15 a.m. Okay, we're in like a, like a interior porch, I guess. I forget what the term is for that, but there's a term for that. Ooh, wow, my sensitivity is really high. Let's, um... Dump that down a little bit so it feels a bit more natural. There we go, that feels a bit more in my control. a cup. Whoa, that was really quick. Let me... Caitlin Greenbrier, Portland. Two, flight 270, date June 6th, 1995. Okay. Oh, shift is zoom. Okay, good to know. Alright. Open the door. Oh, Katie, I'm sorry. Hold on. There we go. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want anyone, mom and dad, to know. Um, we'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you, Sam. Please, please do not go digging around trying to find out where Sam is. I don't want mom and dad or anyone to know. Okay. Hello? Is everybody asleep? I guess I'm just gonna... Ooh! Ba -dum -bum -bum -bum. Wait, wrong, wrong song, I think. I don't remember. Anyway, 
Okay, can I? It's a storming like shit out there. All right, we we'll leave that on. You know, because it absolutely makes sense to turn on all the lights in the house. Locked. Of course. It is. Oh, that was a satisfying crouch. Ooh, I like that. Okay, grab duck. Anything else? <laughs> $5.99 for this Christmas duck. Okay. House key. Press one or I to check the end contents of your backpack. Okay. Passport. Caitlin Greenbrier. Aw, look at her. She's so happy and full of hope. 1995. Don't worry, you'll get cured of that within, within six years. Um, date of birth, 12th of December. 73? Does that mean she's... How old is she? Sorry, I'm mathing. 95 minus 73 is 22. Yes. 22. Okay. Yeah, she'll be cured of the uh, hope in about six years. Um, hope and spark and everything else in about six years. <clears throat> um, okay. Dismiss. Oh, no. Nope leave that in okay uh ams gate 72b boarding pass and from amsterdam a amsterdam to portland with a transfer at cincinnati okay and there's the house key okay ah, i hate okay this is very sensitive hold on let's let us dump that down a little bit more there we go Yeah. Close that and turn off the light behind us. Because we are civilized creatures who live... If there was a spoof, I missed it. Front hall. Apparently people are moving. Okay, hold on. I, I need to fuck it. <laughs> Controls. Uh, let's just drop it down to like the lowest fucking thing. Nope, that's still absurd. Okay. I don't even know if that's my mouse. That on. Grab tissue box. Soft face. note directions to work from new to work from new home left on grab tree right on bullhorn exit on 247 north right under 202 east entrance on right past wage road okay left on a grab tree right on the bullhorn exit on 47 north Right onto 20, uh, 202 East. And then there. Okay. Travel time one hour and 10 minutes. Okay. Bam. Uh, okay. So maybe dad's at work or mom's at work, whoever. Anything else in here? No? Okay. Spring movers. Uh, okay, from Terrence Greenbrier. Okay, eight eight kitchen boxes, five master bedroom boxes, six child bedroom boxes, ten overweight library boxes. 
four box, uh, four office boxes, one 24 inch TV, one 14 inch TV. Grand total, 2750. Okay. Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm in a new school, and my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real, but I'm not gonna let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. So Sam's a little sister, it sounds like. Or not. I don't want to assume a gender, but. Huh? Stephen King. Ooh. Grab box. Band-Aids. Okay, good to know, good to know. Okay, nothing in there. Okay. Wash hands. Grab soap. Sparkle! Green apple! Oh, that just yeets it into the sink. <laughs> I will leave that open and on. Let it air out for a bit. <laughs> I'm a mess. I know. Open door. Closet. Full string. Janice Greenbrier Forestry Services. Senior conservationist. Go, mom. Good fellow high school. Grab board game. <gasps> Over the Alps, a novel traveling game for two to six players. Yes. Now, if I just eat you on the floor, will you open? No. Yeet. Okay, fine. We'll put you back. Anything else in here? From Hall. I could have sworn that said from Hell. <laughs> All right. Open the door. We'll leave it open. Oh, what's this? Read card. I have a doggone cool 17th birthday. Happy birthday, Sam, from Uncle Harvey. Why would I put it back? Put it up on the thing. Fine. Um, all right. Let's see here. Skull on the skull on the bookshelf. Um, totally normal things that you have in the house. Let's put on the light. Uh, I can show you the ooh letter. Dear Jan, it's so good to hear from you again. All this new house business sounds like quite the adventure. Remember the little dorm room we shared freshman year when we were miserable fantasizing about our dream homes? I always said I wanted a mansion. You said you just wanted a house in the woods. Look who got both. Somebody up there likes you. I could use some of that magic. Send me some lotto numbers. I'll play them seriously, but I shouldn't be complaining about this good old split level we've had since Bob got transferred to Winnipeg. <laughs> we just got new vinyl siding. Jealous yet? <laughs> Let me know if you ever want to trade places. So how are the girls doing? Has Katie left on her big European adventure yet? Speaking of jealous. Right back soon. Miss you, Rumi. Carol. Boone County Telephone Book. That anything behind that I can see? No. Ooh, grab book. What book? Uh, of course it is. Ugh. It's just eh. Just eh.
pick up one of my trophies. Regional track and field finals, April 21st, 1990. Girls 100 meter relay. Damn, first place. You go, girl. Jamie Bloom, Carla Jones, Shauna Rossi, and Caitlin Greenbrier. You go. Dang. Well done. Hell yeah. Put it back. Pick up my old track trophy. Regional track and field finals, April 22nd, 1991. So a year after this one, okay? Girls long jump event. Caitlin, Caitlin Bre Greenbrier, first place. Go, girl! Track and field, first place. Hell yeah. Hecho in Mexico. Hecho in Mexico. It's hard to tell if that was thunder or something crashing and then people and then footsteps upstairs. Hard to tell. Open drawer, close drawer. Grab mark. No, give me the damn mark physics. Pencil. <laughs> Just make it look like I'm stabbing somebody with a pencil. <laughs> Get you down there for now. Galaxy permanent marker instead of a sharpie. Wow. Eh. All right. Oh, there's an itinerary. Uh, don't, don't, don't. There you go. Okay. Oh, light is on. Okay. Sam, Katie, mom, dad. Dad's name is Terry. Okay. Oh, look at us. Oh, little Sam. Cause that's definitely Katie up there. All right. Uh, no. Phone. Can I like call nine one one? No. Play messages. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so love you. See you soon. Bye. Sam, Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see the new house. Call him back. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. Poor Daniel. I, that moment when I forget that my one of my first names is Daniel. <laughs> Oops. All right. Uh, itinerary. Worldwide timetable. Katie's departure seven six ninety four. Flight eight eight one twelve ten to Amsterdam. And then a year later she came back. All right, let's. Jeez, this mouse is jumpy. And I have it on its lowest DPI, too. Jesus. 
Did I check this? I did. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna close this door because I saw the shadow of that door and freaked out a little bit because it fucking looked like Moving I'm moving very slowly because uh, it fucking felt like uh, it looked like a shadow out of the corner of my eye Is that rain or static? Hmm <laughs> uh, no. Oh, we have a locked door. Okay. Alrighty. Well, fuck me. Okay, I'm gonna leave doors open for everywhere I've been. Except for the front door. Doors don't do that! Yeah, let's have mm, doors don't do that. Uh okay. Up the stairs. Press two or M to check your location in the house. For front porch, foyer, closet. Okay, locked. Ah, okay. God fucking pack of cards. Catchy playing cards. Newspaper clipping. Controlled burn scheduled for Boone County. Blooms, blooms of smoke will rise above the northeastern region of, of Boone County over the better part of next week. As part of a forestry service run, controlled burn of overgrown sections of the Flintlock National Forest. Forestry crews have been preparing the area for months. The burn operation will take place between 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and possibly into Thursday, depending on speed of progress, according to the, according to the Forestry Service. In addition to removing dead and overgrown vegetation that can lead to wildfires in drier months, uh, the operation will serve as a valuable training tool for fo the forestry and firefighting personnel involved, said junior conservationist Janice Greenbrier. Mom! Smoke will likely linger in the area through the following weekend. Okay. Grab comb. Come back. Read personal calendar. Couples. In. B. Couples brushing? No. Whatever. Uh, cooking class, take apron. Friday, bathroom. Ballroom dancing. <laughs> bathroom dancing. Oh boy. Uh, couples sewing. Oh, is that what it is? Couples sewing. Interesting. Cooking class. Ballroom dancing. Couples. No, that's a B. Couples boning? No idea. Cooking class, ballroom dancing. Cooking class, ballroom dancing. 
cook the big meal for Katie and Sam, I guess. Well, I tried to 360 no scope with the pen, but um, because I kept hearing movement behind me. But um, I I feel like with how quickly I spun that, <laughs> fucking hold on, let's controls. Uh, I wonder if mouth smoothing is the problem. Let's see how that does. That ain't the problem. Okay, it's just fidgety. Alrighty, fine. Damn inform. Temporary personnel transfer. Becoming prescribed burn operation. A ranger with expertise in the procedure is being transferred to the station. Effective 9294. Please see attached personnel file. Okay. Pen. <laughs> Interesting that that light's not coming on. <sighs> that all right we're going this way why'd I do that open the door lights are on closet okay good string Read note. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are as excited about your first day at Good Fellow High School as we are. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes so that you can get right into the swing of things. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon and well again, welcome. Beth Valance, Principal. <laughs> Oh my god, you are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class, and I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, wishing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. I'm pretty sure I hear a voice. Oh, it's like a radio or a TV or something. Okay. Oh, it's an emergency thing. I can hear the wah, wah, wah. Obituary. Oscar Doc Masson or Mason of Boone County died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Masson was born on the uh, Okay. Terrence Greenbrier. So this is dad's uncle. Okay, so we must have moved into the house of the uncle. More playing cards. That's a lot of playing cards we have. Hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Hi, mom, dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian things, including eating Le Petit de... 
uh, and wearing a beret. I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the Shakespeare Book Company since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Weird that it's a different address than usual. Than she was used to, I mean. Grab photo. De Soto. This must be dad's office. Maybe mom's. Irish whiskey. I don't know. Not assuming anything. Are there any deficiencies which need correcting? Unclear. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. If yes, describe in detail. Wiring in a house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupt circuits wired directly behind the surface uh properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls floor and fixtures of the structure <coughs> after discussion with mr greenbrier since there are no current safety concerns issues will not be addressed okay okay that that noise is getting on my nerves all right. I wish the rain wasn't so loud, but like I get why it is. The killing of JFK, a theory. Okay. Harcourt Fenton books. Harcourt Fenton mud. Um. Okay. That, <laughs> I like how that landed. Okay. Highlighters. Paper. Okay. We're at the laser disc. We're at the compact disc. We're at the combination laser disc and compact disc. Uh, they say that a jack of all trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. Mastery is not a question of specialization but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft if you happen to be in the market for a combination ldcd player you'll be glad to know that pioneer seems to share this particular you can do better what if jfk wasn't jfk early space flight to utopia advanced technology and world war ii early time stream too different JFK to US and USSR coalition. Yep, yeah, I'm not going to think about that. Chinese, Japanese, Lebanese. Japanese, question, arrow and exclamation mark. Paradox results. In JFK death being desired outcome. Core JFK off HBO, Magic Bullet Theory, Lone Gunman, X-File, 
check with Sam. Grassy Knoll. Team rolled. Why not disrupt motorcade minutes before who can fire? JFK poison, kidnapped, injured. Intercept LHO in USSR. Question marks. LHO killed in Marines. State of emergency in Dallas cancels motorcade. Back to basics, sent back in time to Dallas, 1963 again. Was that a time traveler? John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, the stars twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. You know, he blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. Oh, dad's an author. That makes a lot more sense. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet, his bare feet. He stared for a moment. Processing his sick, flecked toenails. Scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. Then fabric that strained at the seams to contain. <laughs> oh, that's that kind of author. Was emblazoned with the phrase matter transference operator. Then <laughs> he passed out. John Russell had crossed the gap, the gap in time. Only messages has passed via fur. But now am man. They needed him now more than ever. Changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from form the the instructions form the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it now to it how to assemble it so he made the machine how to transport him bodily across time and now he stood there on the bridge of the starship archimedes command of the vessel because only he who had saved the president's life twice before he could helm the night uh, before could night helm the naive crew to their destiny the fate of the galaxy okay so dad's an author that he's not a he's not a weirdo he's just an author or maybe both open drawer close drawer open drawer close drawer uh yeah i have no idea I assume it's dad because mom's the forestry agent. Light switch. Any back here? No. Do new 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 Fill, lip, filling in Benden. Ha ha ha.
Sorry, I'll stop. <laughs> Anything underneath these? No? Okay. They have a hell of a library, yo. Mm. Mm. Grabs Dad's second book, The Accidental Pariah by Terrence L. Greenbrier. A message from our future has saved the president's life once, but within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt at the lines of communication are down. A James Bond for today's audience by a, a compelling, a compelling, a thriller worth its salt. Interesting. Gosh, dad. Like, for real, it says, gosh, dad, I love it. Gentleman Magazine. Japan's bloody war on dolphins. Moscow by night. Drugs, prostitution, the mafia, the new rules of love. Ladies in the ring, the women of wrestling. Gosh, dad. <laughs> All right, let's put this shit back. Oh. Eh. Eh. All right. Wait, was that other book? Oh, wrong thing. Was this other book by Dad? No, Benjamin Allman. Okay, so no. So we've still not seen Dad's first book. But apparently he's made two and maybe working on a third. A Stranger Under My Roof, the number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens by Dr. Elisa Medina. Teen years are fraught with change of all types. Blah, blah, blah. Explaining, uh, teens explaining teens to parents. Okay. All right. They have a really nice open folder. Read letter, but in a second. They do have a really nice fucking library. Okay. Dear Terrence, November 1st, 1994. David asked me to write you regarding the news you've been submitting, the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth from an editing standpoint. There's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even though... Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss. So I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kirkwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater Aficionado Magazine. Fair. Oh! 0451. Zero, four, five, one. God, that's a hell of a noise. Read document. Dear Mr. Masan, please find and close your original document. Hey, thanks for following. Uh, I don't want to risk messing up that name. Would you mind typing that out for me to say, to be able to pronounce for, uh, correctly? I, I still would like now see him, but with an eye now see him. Yay! Now see him. Thank you. Um, but yes, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Um, this is my first time playing this game. Um, 
I have no idea how many streams it'll take for me to actually get through it because I get easily distracted. Um, do you have any experience with this game at all? Please find enclosed your original documents and a typed copy of your rec before your record. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise. This is a one or two stream game for most, but ADHD is a thing. Absolutely. Uh, you adore the game. Good, good, good. I'm glad. I've heard really good things about it. It and uh, um, Edith Finch. I'm forgetting the name of it. Um, it and Edith Finch. I've heard a lot of good things about, and I'm only just now getting to them because I have, I've had a, I've not had time. Very fair. That is very fair. Um, to my knowledge, I've not actually been diagnosed with it, so to my knowledge, I don't actually have it. I wouldn't be surprised. But to my knowledge, I don't actually have it. I just, you know, get distracted and I'm a ma major goofball. <laughs> um, okay, Will and Testament of Oscar Masson, or Mason. Uh, possessing full competence of mind and memory and after full survey of valued items to my name, do hereby declare this document my last will and testament. Uh, I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County and that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to no, to any creditors living or dead. I do uh, hereby bequeath every item of value of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding acres located at Arbor Hill, as well as any and all personal property and moneyed accounts to my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. of Ellis County. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. should pre predecease me, then and in such event the bequest to him had uh, legalese uh the, the bequest to him shall fall and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate uh i subscribe my name to this will uh this 13th day of august 1973 Ooh, 73. I think there's, I think, I'm going to quickly check. Wasn't that her birthday? Yeah, same year. He... It's all good. It's all good. And there's the handwritten version which I am not going to attempt to read because I struggle with reading handwriting like that. Okay. So I found the will of good old, uh, good old dad's uncle. There was nothing in there. God, I hate that sound. Okay. We already checked out this room to my, to the extent of my knowledge, so we'll leave that open. Um. Really? Because I have been struggling. I have not... Let me check the controls. Is it maybe shift? Or was that Oop. there was a handwriting thing that I read is this it no well, it doesn't matter I'll figure it out that might be true that would make sense all right I 
Right now, I'm struggling more with my mouse than anything else. I have the mouse sensitivity down as low as it can fucking go, and I still, like, end up junk jumping around, like, spinning on the spot. Okay, we've been in here. We've been in here. This is a severe weather. Northwest weather system. Fuck, he's that. Yeah, nope. It's not enter, it's not space, and it's not shift. Yeah. It's cause I feel like it's cause it's made for a uh, controller. Hey, are you the new girl, Sam? I'm Tommy. I am at the back behind you. Wave if you get this and right back. Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha. And yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought that since you're new, maybe uh you could use a friend i don't have a lot of friends either and so i thought i'd ask something if you don't mind uh do you mind yes or no no i don't mind what did you want to ask was it just uh your uncle who went psycho or does it run in the family rude rude high school all right, let's go turn off this damn TV. It's been bugging me. Yeah. Yeah, real charmer. Lamp, lamp is on. Light switch, that's what I'm looking for. All right. Oh, VHS is uh, 95. That's right, 95. Oh boy. Grab cassette. Girl Scout. Role model. Interesting. Thank you for telling me that. I was hoping. I was hoping that would be the case. But, you know. Can I can I have it be Girl Scout now? Or is it only just role model? Fine. The book dad wrote. Turn tells Greenbrier the accidental savior. We already found the second book. Terry, hey man, have okay, hold on. Shush. It gets a good song, but I have to read this stuff out loud, and I don't want to get drowned out by it. Uh anyway. Terry, hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at Hi-Fi Aficionado has too much review work to do around to go around and he's looking for another freelancer naturally i thought of you you were saying in your last letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature and writing stereo reviews is dead simple sit at home with a glass of scotch listen to some records and write up how it sounds and then get paid I've included some issues of the mag to use as, as examples. If you're interested, send some samples to my editor and tell him your old college. Chum, thank you. I was like, is that an L? Is that an N? <laughs> thank you, chum. God damn! Your old college chum, Mike, sent uh, Mike sent you. Here's the address. Okay, do it. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. I would have spent Lord knows how long wondering what that was. The Andromeda Strain. 
Airplane! We pretend that airplanes in the night sky. Yeah! X Files. Blade Runner. It's like Dad has a type. Very fair. Very fair. I'm not too bad with pen and paper. It's just my handwriting has always sucked and it's always been a struggle for me to read other people's handwriting. <clears throat> Especially the more uh, cursive and fancy it gets, the harder it is. All right. Go to can. Dr. Jitters. Oi. Hauntings and polter poltergeists. Apparently Sam made a little fort. Sam thought this might help. Making friends. Oh. So apparently sister had trouble making friends. You know that feeling? Where the first moment you see someone, it's like they have a big gold star around them, and you have to get to know them. Well, there's this girl. I think she's a senior. She's usually dressed kind of punk, but sometimes I see her in this, like, army uniform, and she's always drawing in this notebook, looking so intense. I had no idea how I would ever, like, have an excuse to talk to her. Till I noticed she and her friends hang out and play Street Fighter at the 7-Eleven every day after school. Oh, sister's got a crush. Captain Allegra looked off at the ocean and went on forever, or so it seemed. Someday she would find the edge and get to the paradise there. Then she heard a cannon fire. Boom! It was the black pirate ship. She yelled, I thought we lost them at Horse Island. The first mate said, looks like, looks like you thought too soon. Yeah. Yeah. The black ship came up along the side. I, I'm a sucker for all things lore and information about the things I play. Um... Like, I am that, I am that nerd who, like, when playing games like Mass Effect or RPGs like that, reads the codex and stuff like that. Um, where was I? Looks like you thought too soon. The black ship came up along the side. Captain Black himself came out on the, uh, came out on the deck of the black ship. He yelled to Captain Allegra. You never, you're never gonna find the edge. There ain't no paradise, and your father were a liar. Yar! Captain Allegra yelled back, Then why do you keep following us, you imbecile? Honestly, she spelled that pretty good for second grade. Uh, the first mate yelled out, We'll stop you, Captain Black. We'll find the edge of the world, and you'll see her father was no liar. The battle kept going until Captain Allegra's ship got away. Now west, she said, and the ship sailed towards the sunset. That's a pretty good story for a second grader. Yar! Know what a favorite... A letter of Mark. Yep. VHS. Okay. More VHS. What? Fizz right. Ginger ale. Grab plates. Put back. All right. Hookups for like a DVD player or a game state or wow, game station. Off brand game station. Uh, Game Station X box. <laughs> Game Station X sphere. I give up. A legally distinct soda brand. My favorite. Exactly. Uh, hi, Terry. Enclosed. Please find a Pioneer unit with remote and cables. Uh, we need a half page review for the October issue. 
So that gives you about two weeks to give us to get us the copy for edit standard stuff like you gave us on the other thing. It's a combat player, so check out uh, so check its CD playback with a few discs as well as laser disc. And they want us to definitely hit the signal to noise ratio and toss link stuff for high end buyers. <coughs> Looking forward to your take on it. Enjoy the unit. Okay. Well. All right, let's put this back in. Because now we're leaving. Oh, pillows. X-Files! Dad was such an X-Files fan. It's mom's old work mug. Okay, fuck, I tried. I tried. The Shell Place of Oregon. Pulp Fiction in Theater 3. Coupons. Back when saving 25 cents actually mattered. Forestry manual. Door. Hmm. Looks like a second library. Interesting. Read note. Katie, please tell mom and dad sorry about the stuff that's missing. Sam. Hi, Alani. So if you wanted to come over to my house still this afternoon, that would be cool. I can drive. It's kind of far. <clears throat> but I could drive you home too, so hopefully that's fine right back and leave this in my locker if you still want To and we can meet in the parking lot after sixth period Yeah, I'm totally in see you there. Then I'm gonna kick your butt get ready video games So you know what they say about the best life plans of mice and men Yeah, it turns out it applies to Street Fighter 2 at least I worked up the courage to walk into the 7-Eleven and ask for a turn, but all that practice at home did not exactly translate in the wild. So after I was finished getting my butt kicked, I followed them outside while they smoked. And that was when she asked me if I was that psycho house girl. But then she said she's always really wanted to see the psycho house. Her name is Lonnie. She's coming over tomorrow. Aw. Read crumpled paper. Katie, please, whatever you've found, don't tell mom and dad the attic. Uh oh. Locked door, okay. Alright, so we got a locked door there. We've got this door over here. We've been up there. Okay. Alright. Allons-y. Button.
Ooh, a bar. Nice. Oh, those are records? Nice. Records, books, more records. Shit, this is the music room, y'all. All right. Textbook. World history. Don't miss that. Folder, read assignment. <coughs> Reproductive system worksheet six, Samantha Greenbrier. <laughs> Below are two stories. The events are all out of order. Grab a sheet of line paper, write reproductive system worksheet number six at the top and choose one of the two stories, A or B, and rewrite it. Begin with the title <coughs> and your name. Find a topic sentence to begin your paragraph. Put the sentences in chronological order. <coughs> Excuse me. Make sure the last sentence is a good concluding statement. The menstrual cycle, it travels through the fallopian tube. The ovary releases the ovum. Two weeks later, since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagine. Um, <coughs> it is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. If the egg doesn't meet a sperm, it dissolves while the ovum is developing, blah, 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 blah. I am produced in the testicles. <laughs> <coughs> okay, what, she chose a, a menstrual cycle. <laughs> the menstrual cycle, a novella. <laughs> Yo, this girl, I'm not, I, see me <laughs> okay all right we're gonna read this anything that pisses off a teacher in high school or any grade is is worth a read all right reproductive system worksheet six the menstrual cycle a novella the early morning of september 1st 1939 essa gl glatz start stares out the window of the train as it travels from vienna back to her home village of Weilun in, Pol in Poland. As the train rumbles along, the sun rises over the countryside. She can only think of her dear Borislav, the boy she is engaged to wed. Meanwhile, deep within her guts, an ovum starts to develop. <laughs> S's train... S's train approaches its destination. Her heart races. The lighting of the uterus is getting thick and soft. <laughs> Samantha Greenbrier, I know you're not a real person, but I want to be your friend. <laughs> As Essa steps off the train, her eyes dart quickly across the gathered crowd. Then there, her dear Boris, still in his baker's smock. He must have dropped his early morning duties at his father's shop to come meet her. Her heart skips a beat. The ovary releases the ovum. <laughs> it travels through the fallopian tube. <laughs> Over the wheezing of the steam engines, a deep hum grows. It's coming from the uh, from the sky. Dark shadows pass over the station. A whistling sound. Essa, her thoughts only a second faster than the bombs, reaches out toward her dear Boris across the crowd. Their eyes lock, and the moment freezes. The flash and smoke envelops him almost instantly. In the assault by German forces, almost 75% of the people in her hometown are killed. The rest, including Essa and her, and for a time, Borislav, huddle in a half-destroyed church. He is blind, his legs are missing, bandaged with torn bedsheets. Essa's egg will not be meeting a sperm. It dissolves. <laughs> About two weeks later, Boris loses his grip on life. Essa has given up her, ra her rations to keep Boris alive, but in the end, nothing can save him. Since the lining of the uterus is not needed for a pregnancy, it comes out through the vagina. <laughs> Essa fails to survive. She sets off to join the Polish resistance as a daring spy and saboteur. Another ovum starts to develop in one of the ovaries, and the process begins again. 
It is incredible how the female body knows how to prepare for pregnancy. <laughs> See me. <laughs> Anything that pisses off a teacher is amazing. I love it. Bring it on. <coughs> oh, man. Oh, man. That was beautiful. <laughs> Assignment unclear. Ended up with an award winning novella. <laughs> God, Samantha Greenbrier, I know you are not a real person, and that by the time of this game taking place, you're probably... Big glasses, okay. Oh, I didn't check this door. More records. More books. The Accidental Pariah. Accidental savior. Samantha, please give this to your mother. Janice, thank you for having Danny over to your new home. He has missed having his friend Samantha in the neighborhood very much. Danny asked if he could send Samantha his Nintendo Street Fighting tape. And I gave my permission. He needs to spend less time with those games anyway. No hurry retire returning it. 
Let Samantha know that she is welcome back to our house to visit any time. Sincerely, Mary Sh Shoots. When you live in one place your whole life, your next door neighbor is kind of like your default friend. And Daniel only got weirder over the years. So moving away has been a good excuse to, like, not see him anymore. But he did always have the good Nintendo games. Maybe I'll give him a call. Well. All right, so that is everything down here that I... <coughs> okay, so that's to the basement. No idea where that goes yet. All that's left is go up a floor. All right, so before we go and explore upstairs, uh, we're actually gonna take a brief break. We're gonna take a brief break and be back in five-ish, 10-ish minutes. Uh, so don't go anywhere. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you soon.
Sorry about that. I had to run to the bathroom, then decided to get myself something more to drink. But we are back, and we are continuing this game. Find out what happened to Sam and our parents. Presumably, they're asleep upstairs. All right, we already checked that. We already checked that. All right, down the hall we go. What these dots? Cassette case. Or Sam. Bratmobile. Okay. Oh, potty mouth. Interesting. It's weird hanging out with girls. Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. I gave her the grand psycho house tour and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like, I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. It's I drove important. her home and she gave me this tape and said, You have got to listen to this. I haven't stopped playing it since. <laughs> Love thing, stab, cherry, or cherry bomb, the throw or throwaway product, bombshell, or some shell special. Fuck your fans. Polaroid baby. Panic. Bitch theme. <laughs> Bitch theme. Richard and cool schmool. <clears throat> Aw. Adorable. I bet that's Sam's room. Sam, stop leaving every damn light on in the house. You're as bad as your sister. Daniel called. Daniel called again. He wants his Nintendo game back. Word, read sternly worded letter. To whom it may concern, I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and am therefore an independent, independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me. I love that she did three, then parentheses three. Years older than me. <clears throat> and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. I mean fair oh wow that's a very wow throws me back to my grandmother's house all right uh let's see here this is probably a closet it is not a closet okay we just came from there danger wear goggles and rubber gloves when handling anything in this room may also be Sam's room. Oh, does she have two doors to her room? <laughs> hey, Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend, and Todd won't shut up about it, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. My mom is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out. <clears throat> on it probably what time also isn't that movie supposed to be really violent am i going to barf according to todd it is pretty hardcore i guess uma thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle so that's kind of hilarious also something about cheeseburgers is important todd's uh, todd wants to see it again 715 okay don't barf haha -ha, all right see you then barf all right open door Bathroom. Light switch. <laughs> Open cabinet. Not a mirror, interestingly. Oh my. Oh, hair dye. 
heart fret. Heart stopped. Lonnie rules. Lol. Band-aids. Quick fix band-aids. Dinamint. Cavity protection. Plaque remover. Fair. Nailed it. Feeling blue. Feeling blue. Da ba dee da ba die. Da ba dee da ba die. Too fresh. Grab a cup. <coughs> Hand soap. Grab a brush. Powder cleanser. <laughs> I mean, fair. Fair. Okay. Is Katie really short? Katie feels really short. Guess this one's broken. Okay. Doesn't appear to be anything in there. Okay. Anyway. So Sam appears to have... Is there water in the tub? No, there's not water in the tub. Sam appears to have dyed her hair red. Semi-permanent. Not tested on animals. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. Yes, it is. I know is. if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? Yeah. It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, you're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say my heart something. But I waited. And the moment was gone. Oh. Alright, let's check out Sam's room. Light on. TV off. Adventurous. The cat returns. Chun Li moves. Hell yeah. Ratmobile, cool schmool. Yeah, I wrote this in 
I wrote this in first period and left it in your locker on the, on the way to second. It's what I, uh, what all the cool kids are doing. I've decided. Uh, write me back. Also, here's an idea for something to draw two cats on a motorcycle. Hey, this is a good idea. What all the cool kids are actually doing is sending each other pages on their beeper, but we're cooler than them. Uh, because guess what? They each put this on a beeper. They can't put this on a beeper. <laughs> Your drawing of cats was so good that I added the background to make it even better. Maybe I should just stick to writing, though. <laughs> I like it. How did you know they were about to be ad abducted by aliens? I'm looking at Mr. Fish right now. I feel like he would probably have lots of cats. Also, like, his secret shame is he watches... Goslo, I guess, quote, Koslo, religiously. I'll ask him about it after class. He said he doesn't have cats and also that he's never watched Koslo, Goslo, whatever. But I could see in his eyes he was lying. <laughs> All right, let's put the, mo the, the, the money, the tape over here. All right. Uh... Read brochure. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you, Mrs. Blalock. Blacklock, whatever. Summer pre college program. Uh huh. Pre college English creative writing. Three students from each track would be offered a full scholarship. Okay. Cool. Cool. Plate. Glass. Uh huh. Pre ring binder. Uh huh. Chair. Sock. Nail polish, emery board, soda can, cup, light, button, the misfits, eraser, pencil, pen, excuse me, Malays, Pacific Institute of Art Exhibit Exhibition. Okay. Why are you so messy? Name Samantha Greenbrier, year 11, teacher Fletcher, period 5, subject shop 1, metal assignment metalworking engraving, grade C minus, not a challenging assignment, metal plaque for family portrait, reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mom and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean just add them underneath. Acceptable leveling on edges, show more pride in work. I mean, she's... Okay, I'm gonna fucking tidy this girl's room, I swear to God. Okay. God damn. Eh. At least get all the things off the floor that I fucking can, I swear to Christ. Eh. to find the kitchen and just like just like take everything to the trash and shit oh like ah! it's steggy yep there's where it says steggy stegosaurus but fork I swear to god if this is a crime scene I'm gonna be upset because like okay Drawer there? No, there's no drawer there. 
All right. I know where the bathroom is. Fuck it. I'm just going to take all this shit to the bathroom. Come on. Pick up the emery board. Nail polish. I don't know where that goes. Close enough. Button. Fork. Okay. Eraser. Here. That thing's fine there. Give me that. We'll put that over here. Pencil. Over there. Pen over there, plate right there, fork on top, hairbrush. Okay, hairbrush can stay. Oh, trash. <coughs> Disciplinary referral, Yolanda DeSoto, grade 12. Mr. Benchley observed Ms. DeSoto wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labeled Pabst Blue Ribbon. Ms. DeSoto was sent to the guidance counselor's office. Ms. DeSoto was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or be suspended for the rest of the day. Ms. DeSoto chose suspension. Her father was called, but there was no answer and no answering machine. Ms. DeSoto must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. Lonnie. Oh, it's Yolanda DeSoto. Okay. You know what? Eh. Oh, that works. Um, can't pick up the sock. Can't move that. Glass. Nope. Nope. All right. Actually, let's put these next to the TV. To believe in aliens. Eh. Eh. Okay. Three for sure. The brother 150. This is the one me and my dad are building. I'm gonna go for a ride when it's done. Ah, eraser. Good enough. And Kurt, Kurt, Kurt Cobain. Now. 
missed. <laughs> Come on, go in the cup. Eh. Ah, good enough. That's broken. Close that. Anything in there? No? Okay. Not in that. Nope. Okay. There's the hair dye. We'll leave that there. Okay. All right. Wait, wait, wait. This goes to Sam's room. Yeah, okay, I am completely distracted in case you couldn't tell. Alright, can't go that way. I threw the Bible on the floor because Fuck that shit. Um, now, I do want to check out here. Okay, there is a cup. That will come back in. Uh, at least until I can find the kitchen. Eh. Eh. Is there anything else? Oops. I don't recall there being anything else in here. So let's just close that door so that the wind doesn't come in. All right, the kitchen's probably that way. We'll leave, well. Eh. Eh, okay. All right. Um. Soto, that must be Yolanda. Yo, Lonnie, I knew I saw remembered the name DeSoto from somewhere. Oh, Lonnie appears to be military. Okay, this is coming up to Sam's room with me. Um, but first, let's straighten up Dad's office a bit. Put that back up there where dad would have kept where dad kept it out of reach. Go ahead and close that. Now I remember there being some soda cans, but I may have already thrown them away. Okay, or maybe they weren't in here. Maybe they were in the other rooms, like the living room or something. Okay. Alright, gotta take the glass out to the living out to the foyer. The foyer. And there There we go. Stay. 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 You're not staying. that in the trash can fine okay all right mom's old work mug eh. uh mug eh.
So bad. Trash can. Pizza box. Oh, there was an. I can open the pizza box. Okay. Trash can. Plates. Yeah, yeet. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Okay. Can I like... Oh, come on, back in. Bratmobile. That goes up to Sam's room. You want some here? No. Close the door. Stephen Wolf. Okay. This is going to go up to Sam's room. Okay, I can't dispose of that tra of that box, but I did everything else. Oh, this can go on a bookshelf. Uh, yeet. Fine, we'll put it down here. Come on. Did I read this? Yes. Okay. Check all of these. Ah, that thunder. Yes, I did read that. Okay. And there was that Katie and the locked door. Okay. Alright. Alright, we'll leave all those there. And until I can find the kitchen, we'll leave those there. This goes up to Sam's room. Oh, right, in the picture for the picture of Lonnie. <sighs> Forgot about that. Okay. Actually, you know what? I am going to gather all of these in the foyer because I am pretty damn sure that they're all that the kitchen is that way. Um, 
because this is probably goes to the kitchen too and I'll leave that on the floor like it's probably both the kitchen and the other place you know <laughs> I am wasting so much time uh, okay fine <clears throat> I'll leave that button down there because I have to go back that way anyway but I will take this picture of Lonnie to Sam's room where I will put it on her bed. Or actually, on her nightstand. Oh. There we go. Okay. Alright. Been in? We've not been in there. We've been in there. Okay. And... That's Sam's room. Okay. And we have another door here. Sam's dark room, do not enter if red lights are on. Well, that's not ominous. Katie, mom and dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam, you were asking about what my JR to, uh, JROTC ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienteering, this means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team, the army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. Oh, excuse me, I am a born... I'm a born adventuress, and no borders can hold me. The army recognizes this. So, if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Aww. Sam's composition book, Ghost Hunter Journal. Sighting journal. Tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note, I was not wearing my glasses. Faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate. Probably was the furnace. Poured milk from carton in fridge. It was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was just bought yesterday. <laughs> also ghost milk. Number <laughs> ninth, Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV room. Suddenly began to feel cold. We build a protect we built a protective pillow fort. Lonnie and I employ Ouija board as a medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remained unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic. Probably due to leaky roof. Uh, sample taken just in case. Despite our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4 a.m. All in all, a successful night. Aww. They're adorable. Sliding door. Where does that go? Because there's not much of a wall there. There's all my Katie boxes. More Katie boxes. Okay. All right. Next room. Cassette. 
Heaven to Betsy, nothing can stop me. Is there a cassette player in here? There is. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad's situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, how do you like your first show? I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she could tell. So this must be mom's hangout room. No wonder, no wonder her parents are together. They like the same kind of ma reading material. No shade. Okay, let's turn that on. Captain Allegra and the first mate. Your costume, my costume. Oh. Mom made it, or Sam did. Oh, another cassette tape. Heavens to Betsy. Oh, it's the box. Come on. Heavens to Betsy, calculated, nothing can stop me. Decide, stay away, calculated. Waitress, hell, intermission, axeman. Okay. Poor Sam. All right, so this goes to Sam's room too. Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner and I found a secret passage. And it had Oscar's creepy old stuff in it? Okay, so sewing room up there, mom, dad's room, bathroom, closet. Interesting. Oh my God, I have got to see this. We're skipping sixth. Okay. Uh, uh, my instincts to fucking straighten up everything are driving me fucking crazy. Okay. All right, we're going to close that. All right. Locked. Okay. <sighs> okay. All right, it's a parent's room. Mom, um, Dad? It's like 1 a.m. Are you awake? No? Okay. Grab Mom's purse. 
Eh, eh. Back. Grab postcard. Dear mom, dad, and Sam, I am in the channel. Channel? Channel, probably. This is my second passage through the channel. I'm on my way back from t London. This time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. Channel, whatever. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. If you all wanted to come back here as a family sometime, I guess I, I, guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, Sam. Yeah, why am I not surprised that it examine business card unknown dimension literature has publisher supposed to be dad's side of the bed and again mom's purse is right there maybe not all right all right nothing in there nothing in there nothing in there nothing in there Nothing in there. <laughs> oh, barf. Lubricated condom. Lol. Oh, there, I forgot there's a room in Sam's room I didn't finish with. So I'll be back. I'm going to go quickly check Sam's room because there was that side room that I totally forgot about. All right, also, I want to recheck her drawers because I'm a nosy fucker. Okay. All right. All right. Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. Aw. Grab book, holy Bible. Man, okay. Collar. Mitten. Oh. Got your number. <clears throat> King's Labyrinth, Chapter Two. Fraying threads. Captain Allegra, still in her flowing skirt and sturdy jerkin, descended the single shining thread into the lower cavern of the labyrinth. She and the first mate, on their own now, grew closer to their goal, the throne room of the dead immortal king of the island. The first mate slid down the line onto the, onto the stone floor. She swept chalky bone dust from the front of her canvas trouser and looked up at Allegra. <coughs> The silken thread, high, uh, nigh unbreakable, thanks to the enchanted moths that inhabited the island, trailed behind them, leading their way back to the entrance. From further into the labyrinth, the law, uh, a moaning began to echo. The moaning grew louder and clearer. It turned into words from some ancient language they could not understand. The king's cursed voice. Cursed voice. The hairs on Captain Allegra's arm stood on end. She looked back at the first mate, whose eyes remained locked on the blackness of the packet pa uh, pa there. passage for a moment too long before noticing the captain's gaze. The first mate nodded silently ahead. Following the king's ghostly song deeper and deeper into the labyrinth, they came upon a rocky gap spilling forth otherworldly blue light. The great basin of the king of the dead king's throne room lay below. Skeletal in rotted robes, the king was hunched over the blue orb, topping his royal scepter. Shadows of his bony fingers danced on the walls like ghouls. As he sang, wailing souls flowed in one by one through the cracks in the cave walls. Man, this girl would have loved D&D. Or any other TTRPG, if we're honest. Um, cracks in the cave walls pulled into the orb causing it to glow brighter and brighter. Behind the king, a long staircase hewn from the rock 
led down into the chamber from a passage at, at the top. Allegra said, we have the advantage in numbers. I will draw his attention, and then you. But the first mate interrupted, no. I'm smaller and quicker, and you know of deal and you know of dealing with mystic energies like these. I will circle to the other side, get the king's attention, and lead him on a merry chase. She held up the silk line, all as uh, she sil held up the silk line, all traced by this invisible thread, of course. Allegra said, It is a good plan, but perhaps we should go together. The first mate shook her head. You know this is our best chance. Don't be afraid for me. They grasped hands and exchanged three tight squeezes, their palms growing warm. The first mate tied the shining thread to the belt of her trousers, gave a quick salute and a wink, and dashed off. Allegra waited, staring vigilantly across at the top of the stairs where the first mate was to appear. The king continued his, wait, no, no! The singing stopped. The king turned and began walking up the stairs. Allegra, want Allegra wanted to call out to do anything to stop the first mate from running head first into danger. She tried tugging on the line to signal her no use. The king was nearly at the top of the stairs when the first mate burst through the passage. She skidded to a stop, even from across the yawning base, and Allegra could see the first mate's eyes grow wide. She turned and ran, summoning his, summoning his undead power. The king left the ground, levitating, gliding behind her with distressing speed. From some dank passage, much too far away, Allegra heard the first mate scream. She was already running toward the sound. The line in Allegra's hand went taut, then shuddered. It fell slack to the stone floor. As Allegra ran, she was gathering line, twisting it around her arm. She came to its end. The unbreakable thread dangled limply, its end shredded and frayed in her hand. She tossed it to the ground and ran, ran, ran. Oh my god, I need the next chapter. Okay. Uh, I don't know. It's probably something to do with Lonnie, but I don't know what. Okay, back to the parents' room. got a third TV that wasn't in the moving thing that must be new. that's new yeah now that we'll leave that off all right let's okay can't close that one all right we'll check this one first must be mom's drawers yep there's a bra so these are mom's Mitten! Oh, Mitten! Mitten, one cat. Our cat, Caitlin, age five. Mitten. Oh. The dad looks so derpy. I love it. Earring binder. Read letter. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you feel. Bob and I have had our our down periods. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other. You live your uh, own lives in the same house. Uh, the kids grew up, they go away. I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry, Terry will get out over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal. And as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite the adventure. But let's cut to the chase, this new Ranger they sent. That's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick? 
You have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. And send pictures. I want the whole package. Wait, that sounds wrong. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend, Carol. She adores them. Aw, Carol. Walt Whitman. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands, Rick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ranger Rick was stepping into the marriage. Well, I don't blame the mom for trying to find her bliss, you know? All right, what's in here? Oh, look, a ghost game. Escape from Ghost Mansion. Avoid the ghost of Ghost Mansion and make your escape with your wits intact. Two or more players. Nice. Watercolor techniques for florals and still lifes. Ah, a matchbook. Overlook restaurant. Rick, eight o'clock Friday. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oops, wrong way. Ah. Gather the evidence. Mom, you and I are going to have a talk. Like, follow your bliss, but like, mmm. You know, if you're going to have a bathroom set up like this, you really should have the toilet in here rather than in with the tub, you know? I don't know. That's just me. Candles, shampoo, TP, shaving cream. Uh, after the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse personally, spiritually, sexually. <laughs> uh, I love the commentary that pops up from Katie. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. So now there is a secret passage right here. Okay. But before we do that, I want to make sure we got the rest of the house that we can. That's locked. That's locked. So it's just the secret passageway that we've got. Okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. Will it, will it open the other way, I wonder? Yeah, it will. Okay. Like everything else. Light? Yes. Oh. Oh. We'll look at the map in a second. Well, that wasn't necessary.
Ghost Hunters. Sam and Lonnie Secret House Investigation Log. Hidden compartments found three. One in the library, upstairs hall, and foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered zero. The search continues. So there's one across from Sam's room next to the bathroom. One in the library. One in the closet. And one off the foyer. Okay. Here, here, here. All right, let's keep going. All right, so now where am I? I am in here. So there should be one back here, which tracks because this was a big dead end. The Misfits! At Tot's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. The lights went out. I was turned toward her, my eyes started to adjust, and then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. Aww. I just nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. Aww. I really hope that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Take second combo scrap. Property of Sam, private. So it's something 50 1. Three times. Okay. Heaven at the edge of the world. Private, do not read. The Green Glacier by Samantha Greenbrier. 12192 Allegra and her scouting party peered down warily through the dense canopy of rustling leaves from their perch high in the forest's branches. Mere feet away, sunlight shone brightly off the inner uh, inner ice walls of the glacial basin in which the forest grew. It was a strange sight indeed, such lusciousness juxtaposed with the frigid ice formations. Allegra leapt forward without hesitation, bounding through the high branches. The first mate had been captured by the Green Glacier's Amazonian tribe. His life hung in the balance. Interesting. Interesting, because I'm pretty sure in the second in the second chapter we read upstairs, the first mate was a chick. Anyway. Uh, we have to hurry. Allegra's party followed behind, moving quietly as a breeze through the greenery. Allegra landed in the clearing and shouted, Stop! She saw the Queen Amazonian up on her pedestal, reaching for the lever that would drop her first mate into the vat below. Why would Amazons have a vat of something in the forest? Eh. She shouted, no, and flung her saber at the Amazon's reaching hand, but it was too late. The first mate screamed as he fell toward the water, then splashed down, and all was eerily silent. Allegra looked on, frozen in fear and remorse. She had been a moment too late. But then, from the vat, something began to emerge, a head of, a, of dark brown hair, just like the first mate's, then the shoulders and sleeves of his coat soaking wet. But as the figure stood and the water poured down, Allegra saw that the first mate had changed. He was no longer... <laughs> he was no longer a man at all. In fact, what looked back at her were the eyes, the face, the hair and hands and body of a woman. Still in the first mate's clothes, still the first mate, he, she spoke in a soft, clear voice. 
Captain? The Amazonian queen said she is one of us now. She is ours. Allegra drew her magical flintlock pistols from her belt, and her crew readied their swords. Allegra glared into the queen's eyes and said, That's the love of my life, and you can't have her. All right, fair play. All right, where was the other one? Those two, and then across from Sam's room next to the bathroom. Okay, and then to the attic. All right. Let's check this door if it's still locked. Yep, okay. All right, I'll put the fucking Bible back. Where was it? Where did it go? The... There. <sighs> Fine. All right. Read note. Hello? Who are you, Oscar? What do you want? To come back. Oh, God. And there's the Ouija board. We're just going to throw that on the floor. All right. So, O51. To open, turn. First number. Oh, turn right three times, stop at first number. So zero left to zero. Wait, no. First number. One and zero. Left one number. We'll turn passing first. Okay. So wait. What was it? O fifty one zero fifty and one. Lonnie came over today, but everything Basement was key. different. She was sitting at my desk chair, and she wouldn't look at me. Finally, I asked her what was going on. She said she felt like she'd done something wrong that night in the city. Like, I must think... But I said, no. There was nothing wrong. I just wanted to say... But I couldn't find the words. I felt like I was gonna cry, but I wasn't sad. She got up and sat next to me on the bed. I looked at her. Lonnie... Do you think... You... Could ever... And that's when she kissed me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Congrats, Sam. Gosh, Sam. <laughs> Jillian Anderson from X-Files, wasn't it? I think, I don't remember. Gosh, Sam. All right. There's nothing wrong added to the backpack. Okay. So now we have the key to the basement and possibly access to the attic. We'll look. We shall look. Nope, still locked. Okay. I wonder if there are more secret panels. Like, should I really just like walk around like clicking everything? <laughs> All right, to the basement. I believe that is, yes, yeah, off the music room, okay. Oh, it's almost 10 o'clock, but I don't want to stop playing the game. Eh, it's Friday. I can play a little bit longer. I don't know how much of the game is left. I wish there was a sprint. 
or at least a jog slightly faster, you know? To the murder basement, because that's always a good idea. There we go. All right. Murder basement, murder basement. What the fuck's in the murder basement? Chips. Soda. I wonder if Lonnie's been staying here. SNL. Oh. It's different now. I mean, we still hang out all the time like before. But now when no one else is around... Well, you know. So you could say we're dating. But it's secret. Secret dating? I don't know. 90s. 90s I mean, I guess and not in New York difference. or somewhere now like that. Now when we that. get off the phone or go home for the night. Or it's just quiet and we're alone. We say I love you. Oh. Another Katie box. Oh man, one of my old sex ed assignments. I'll read that in a second. Grab a plaque. K is for kind. Caitlin. Oh, it's the same one. How did she do it? Okay, so she did it basically the proper way. No fun. All right. Well, furnace is on. To Samantha Reed College. Dear Samantha, congratulations. I'm pleased to inform you of your admission to the creative writing track of the Reed College Summer Program for Young Scholars for its 95 session. We believe you have much to contribute to the Reed College community based on your portfolio and academic record. I am also pleased to offer you financial aid to cover 75% of the summer program's tuition and fees. Nice. The attached documentation delineates your schedule optional secondary track choices and your dorm your dormitory assignment please remember to submit the attached form if you wish to be eligible for one of the three read full-time undergraduate scholarships to be awarded to exemplary students at the end for each summer program we very much look forward to your attendance again congratulations on your admission and best wishes from all of us at reed college i'm so stupid sometimes I was telling Lonnie that I got into my college summer program thing, and I was all making plans like, you should come visit me, stay in my dorm room. But she said, Sam, I ship out on June 6th. I was like, ship out? To where? She said, to basic training. What did you think I was doing all that ROTC stuff for? I guess she's been planning to join the army right after high school since she was like, 12. And I guess she's really going to do it. So I was like, after graduation, I'm just never going to see you again? She said, let's just have fun while we can. One of Granddad's books, Joyce, A Complete Understanding by Richard Greenbrier, PhD. Richard Greenbrier, Professor Laureate of English in, in the University of Oregon in 1956. And his face has been ripped out. That's not unnerving. You stop that. Why 
one of dad's books with something stuck to it. Dear Terrence, thank you for sending along a copy of your newly published book and author's first published manuscript is a momentous occasion. I re-edit this afternoon. I certainly recognized my son in the subject matter and author's work is the externalization of that which he holds dear and that which he fears and in this respect i believe your work was successful but the lens through which the personal shown was needlessly clouded by genre cliches and implausible dime store science fictional day ex machina the great authors speak of their life's oh man oh fuck this man like the thing is, it's a common thing. It was especially common back in this time period for a lot of the co the uh, not cultured, the uh, literary, the uh, hoity toity, you know, ones to look down on things like science fiction and fantasy and whatnot. Uh, I congratulate you on surviving the ordeal that is publication and the rest assured blah 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 your father's love and encouragement blah 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 okay I think it's mom's sedition stuff so mom wasn't isn't a citizen I can't read any of that So apparently, mom was not a citizen. Damn it, scrap. Oh. Oh. I hope she got it for her. All right, there's a door there and a door that way. Let us go this way. Light, light, okay. Whoa, that's a lot of newspaper. That's a lot of newspaper. And a lantern right next to it. That's a fire hazard. Newspaper clipping. Masson's pharmacy changes hands. The shoppers of Main Street were surprised today at the announcement that Masson's Pharmacy would change ownership for the first time since it opened 10 years ago. Rumors swirled around the sudden sale of the pharmacy that the sudden sale of the pharmacy was transacted for a song. When asked about speculation uh, that the deal had been signed for as little as $1, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Samuel Onstein Oscar Masson's longtime assistant and now proprietor of Masson's Pharmacy told the register uh, the specifics will remain between myself and Mr. Masson. Mr. Masson had taken sick and was unavailable for comments. Okay. Ah. Well. That is such a fire hazard. Postcard. Hey Sam, I'm writing to you from Multnomah Falls. I'm here on a stupid class trip, which is stupid because it's March, and I don't know if anyone running this school has been to Oregon, but it's cold and rainy as shit in March. Wish you were here. Oh wait, you are here because I'm writing this to you in the gift shop. Oh shit. <laughs> Love you. Oh shit, love you. <laughs> love Sam. Love Elle. Aww. They tell you to stick with the group on field trips, Katie. There's a reason for that. Lonnie and I snuck off on the side paths at Multnomah Falls and got a little lost. Okay, a lot lost. Like, for hours. Right before the bus left, we found a trail and came running down the path, soaked and covered in mud, shouting for the bus not to leave. The school called home. Mom and Dad said, You didn't get into trouble like this before you met that Lonnie girl. But I don't think they know, no, about us. The kids at school, though, 
I'm really afraid that's a whole other story. Stick with the group, Katie. Stick with the group. Fuck that. Don't stick with the group. Always be yourself. Always go off and do what you want. Get lost in the woods. Get in trouble. Break the rules. Have fun. Fall in love with who you want. Don't stick with the group. The group is shit. It's like a drug. The first time was in my room in the middle of the night. I woke up and Lonnie was kissing me. The lock said 313. Okay, not reading any more of that. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> X-ray specs. Yeah, I wonder if Lonnie was staying in the basement. Girl Scout, the band formerly known as Cub Scout. Set list. Role model, authority, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Todd's band lost their singer. Todd said he sucked. Lonnie said he got sick of Todd's shit. And he was complaining about needing a new singer. So Lonnie was like, I can sing. And they were all kind of like, you can? And she was like, probably. But she's been rehearsing with them for like a week now. And I finally got to see them play in Todd's basement today. And she's actually really amazing. I feel so proud when she's on stage. It's incredible being in awe of someone you love. So everybody knows it's like a temporary situation till she ships out in June. But till then, I'm going to be at every single show. And she got the necklace. I nope, definitely not reading anymore. Nope, not going to happen. Nope. I want to read it. I want to read the smut. OK, fine. Door, guest room. Stop. I need to be able to hear what this is. Huh. Okay. London Soto. Sorry, I need to read that. Uh, dear Sam, today's Spanish lesson flies Mosca, Sunbeam is Rayo de Sol, Del Sol. Uh, your love is to Armor. Hubcap is Tapa Cubos. Dear Sam, I'm so happy you liked the drawing. I was thinking of us when I drew it. I knew you'd be able to tell. You'd love Mexico, I think probably. Uh, the nature here is totally different than back home. I keep thinking about Allegra and the first mate lost on a mystery on a mysterious island where even the plants are out to get them. And then I think of them together out there in the wilderness together and I start thinking of you again. Oh, the artistic way she did that. I lie here in bed and I can almost feel you. I've been trying to save it up for when we're together again. I haven't done a good job, okay? But I tried. Oh, okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back. Surprised you, I'm still here. Uh, I won't be from... Uh, I'm torn, okay, Yvonne? I'm torn. Because, like, on the one hand, I want to finish the game because I want to know what happens next with Sam and Lonnie, and I don't think it's good, but I need to know. But on the other hand, I keep looking at the tie and going... <laughs> so I probably will be wrapping it up shortly and saving the rest for next week. Anyway, okay, enough about that. Your last letter got to me the day before we start driving back north. We'll be racing we'll be racing this letter home. If I get home first, we can read it together. And yes, I'm taking tons of photos. We'll have to spend so much time in the dark room. 
<laughs> all the dots. All the dots and the exclamation marks. Oh my god, they're so adorable. Oh. Two or more money. Oh. I still want to read the smut page. Yvonne, I want to read the smut page, but it won't let me because Katie, the sister, is like, no, not going to happen. I am not going to keep reading about my sister having s relations with her girlfriends. I No, definitely. No, 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 no. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, a safe. I don't know the combination of that. There's the basement. Library. Study. Music room. Living room. Closet. Closet. Washroom. Porch. Closet foyer. Yep, I was right. Kitchen is over this way. It doesn't work. All right, enjoy the lurk. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Terry, age 12. Thanksgiving, 1963, age 11, age 10, age 9, 1960. Oh, the dad's height growth chart. Oh. Anything else in here? Grab a toy. Yeet! I'll look at that in a second. Alright, there doesn't seem to be anything else that I can interact with here. Alright. Got these thus. He's a horse! Okay. Hey, no, stop. Gimme. Okay, we have one more segment to look at. That's down this way, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Ooh, stairs. We're back on the main floor. Oh, I think I know where we are. Okay, hold on. Let's go back to the wrong way. This way. Let's go back to the... To the floor... The, the main floor map. Real quick. Because I want to confirm something. Greenhouse, laundry... Okay. Do upstairs. Up one. Basement guest room. Okay, so there was an addition off of the initial map up this way that was never arted. In, that was not on the blue, the original blueprints. Okay. And this is that way. This is the way. 1017. Ah. <sighs> No, I'm calling it there. We'll figure out the rest. We'll we'll experience the rest of this next time, uh, or next week. I mean, I'm calling it there. This is a good game. It's a very good game. I am I am obsessed with it. I can't wait to finish it off. And I love 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 the story of what's going on between Sam and Lonnie. Um. So yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks again to everybody, the new follower. Uh, now. Nausium, I believe was their name. Um, so thank you all for tuning in. Um, check out these amazing people I have listed up here. I have even more recommendations in the link tree below. Excuse me. Also in that link tree, you'll find links to my Discord, my YouTube, my socials, etc. Where you can follow me for updates or hang out with me and my friends and 
you know, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, there's also a link to my Patreon, which is also listed right here on the screen where you can uh, support me and maybe have a say in what I play in the future. Um, but uh, yeah, that's it for me for the week. Uh, I'll be back on Monday. And until then, remember to have empathy, be kind, be safe, love yourselves and love everyone around you. And I will see you all next time. I love you all. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.